Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room. My hair is very different than I normally do it. I was trying something new and I actually think it's kind of cute. I did like a zigzag part, you guys can see. So I'm actually really feeling it. I'm feeling very edgy today. So if you don't like it, oh well. Anyways, so today I'm gonna be doing my March favorites for you. Guys, um, I know it's a little late, it's like the 5th, I think, so I'm actually filming this video today and I'm going to try to get it up for you guys tonight, so you guys can enjoy it and I not be any later, so I'm going to try to do favorites from now on and I'm going to try to get more regular with my videos. I've been really busy, um, I just got a new job and school and moving schools and figuring out what I'm doing with my life pretty much but anyways I'm gonna stop this intro and please subscribe you guys and give this video a thumbs up and let me get right into it all my favorites are right behind me so I'm just gonna grab them as I go I'm gonna do I have some hair products I have some body products I have some brushes so I don't have a lot but I have like different categories if that makes sense wait a second stop <laughs> My hair's super frizzy because it's clean and I tried to, um, you know, style it. So that brings me to my first product. This, I did this, a lot of these favorites I actually did in my Sephora haul or makeup haul, I believe. So this is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Finish Spray. So I like this because it's not a dry shampoo. It is a texturizing fullness spray and the reason I like this is because when I've just washed my hair and I want to like give my hair fullness and texture dry shampoo won't work because there's no there's really no oil in your hair for dry shampoo to cling to so if you're using dry shampoo on clean hair and you're not noticing a difference that's why dry shampoo clings to oil and gets rid of it <laughs> but this is a texturizing spray so if you're if you have clean hair and you want to give your hair like a little bit of like that tasseled undone look this is perfect for that um it's one of my it smells oh. I use this in my boyfriend's hair too to like style it a little bit because this works good for styling as well because it doesn't have that tackiness that hairspray has but it does give your hair like a hold but it smells amazing. The mist on it, I don't know if you guys can see. The mist on it is great. It doesn't leave a white cast in your hair or anything. So I have been loving this. Body butter. I have a travel size and I have the full size. This is the Righteous Body Butter Moisturizer. Butter moisturizer. I love this stuff. I know you can get it at Walgreens now. Um, this was like $5 and this is $15. And you get a lot of product in here. Like... Um, 10.1 fluid ounces so you're getting a lot of product in there and honestly like it feels so good it's a lotion well it's a body butter so it's a little bit thicker than a lotion but guys it rubs in like butter it's called body butter and it just rubs in and it dries so nicely like it does not I hate the feeling like feeling wet and sticky after I put lotion on and this literally dries so nicely and I don't get that feeling but I'm still left with like silky soft skin so I really recommend this um, if you have like normal skin and you just want to add like a little bit of moisture sure. which is don't judge me it's dirty I haven't cleaned it this is the L'Oreal face sponge I love this I can't believe that I'm about to say this I love this more than the beauty blender makeup gods Please forgive me. But this is, I love how this has like the little indention in it right here so I can hold it, especially with my nails, and really get like that, this face side on here. And then I also love this pointy side. It is thicker than the Beauty Blender's pointy side, but you can squeeze it. It's just really, I just feel like the sponge is also like 
I don't know. It, I just feel like it glides my product on a little bit better. Just a little bit. And it's way cheaper. And you can get it at a drugstore. And it lasts just as long. And it works just as good. Sometimes a little bit better. <laughs> but I love this thing. So next I have a primer. And it's from e.l.f. And I can't tell you exactly what it is. But if you go into the drugstore and you look for e.l.f. products, it's in this yellow tube. And I'm pretty sure it's like illumin matte illuminating something. It sounds really weird because it does two opposite things that you would never think would actually happen, but actually happens. So always make sure you shake it. I find that it just needs a little shake. It is such, it's like thick. I don't know if you guys can see this. But it's just white. It comes on your hair like this. I use this with my professional because I have really large pores in my T-zone. If you don't have really large pores, I don't think you need the professional because this does pour, do some pore minimizing too. It goes on really thick, almost feeling like a lotion, but when you rub it in, it just like, do you guys see that? It's like illuminating, but it's not like shiny. It just gives your face like this beautiful glow and it's tacky so your foundation really adheres to it and like I love it and it's like three dollars I'm pretty sure it's like between three and six dollars so next is this foundation you guys this is five dollars and every time I wear this my face looks flawless I don't have it on right now but I've been wearing this like crazy the past month and it's amazing like I don't have words to describe how good this foundation is like it's tied with my favorite foundation which is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick and that's like $40 and this is five so I highly recommend this it doesn't cling to dry patches it doesn't make your face oily I think anybody can wear this foundation and love it um and the shade matching is really nice too because it says like this says peach natural so this obviously has a peachy undertone. This says nude ivory, so this obviously has an ivory undertone. Um, and then it says light neutral. So it's a light foundation with a neutral undertone. And this is a light medium with a cool undertone. So light medium, cool undertone. It says it on the bottle. So if you know your undertones and obviously you know your sh skin shade, then this foundation is awesome for you. I love it. Huh. Love it. Next, I have a concealer, which has been so hyped lately that I broke down and bought it. And part of me is like, I can't believe you gave in to the peer pressure, but I did. And I got it, and I'm so glad I did. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am in the shade Fair Neutral. I love this concealer. For one of two reasons. The applicator. Okay? I don't know why, but this huge doe foot applicator, I just look like dab, dab, and on a natural day, that's all I need. But what I also like about this concealer is it is full coverage and very easy to blend. My all-time favorite concealer is actually the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I like that one a little bit more than this one just because... I find, personally, I have really bad lines under my eyes, and so I can wear that concealer and not set it, like if I forget to set it and I'm perfectly fine. This I do have to set because it is so thick. It doesn't feel thick on the face, but because it is so full coverage and thick, I do have to like really make sure I set it. So that is my only, that's the only reason this is not my number one and the NARS is my number one. But I have been loving this. It has been great for natural looks, full coverage day looks. Use as much as you need, and I think it is beautiful. I have two highlighters, one beaming highlighter and one natural highlighter. I'm going to start with the natural highlighter. So this is the Cover FX um, highlight in the shade Moonlight. If you haven't seen, they have, like, the Cover FX drops. I have some right here. Like, they have these drops. Well, they came out with powder highlights. Like, I'm thinking they're supposed to be the same shades. This one is not Moonlight. This is silver. They came out with these to go with... I don't know if they meant to go with it, but they're the same shades. So, these are very, you would think they'd be beaming like the drops, but these are actually very natural highlights, um, which I am wearing right now, and I still think, like, 
I look glowy, like, from within, not, like, bam, in your face. So I actually really love these for an everyday look. And even when I'm doing a glam look, like, if I'm doing a really smoky eye and I don't want to distract from the rest of my face, I'll use something like this, and it is beautiful. Now, these on top of the drops... You'll be blinding people from, like, five miles away. But this is just a beautiful highlighter. I love this. I normally go for a blinding highlight, but this is really, like, this has a special place in my heart. I wear this every day almost. Next, we'll blind. Okay? This is the Starlet Powders. I'm sure you guys have seen these. They're everywhere. What more do you want to say? This is the shade 13. I don't think it needs words, you guys. I really just don't. I'm not. I have two makeup brushes and a setting spray. Um, let me start with this one. So this is the Luxie 514 Blush Brush. I love this for blush. It is so soft. So soft. And the thing about I find that a lot of people make with blush, the mistake they make with blush, is putting too much on. And I feel like that's impossible to do with this brush because it blends so nicely in the shape of it fits perfectly on the apples of your cheek and then brushes backwards so you really get the perfect placement of your blush and it just blends it out like if you put too much you just like swirl 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 swirl, swirl. it's blended out and it looks perfect and i feel like this brush is just the perfect blush brush say that five times fast <laughs> next is an eye brush this is a sigma small tapered blending e45 brush i love this brush because it does everything. I can blend out a crease color with this. I can blend an outer V with this. I can inner corner highlight. I can brow bone highlight. I can sweep um, shadow on the lower lash line. Oh. Um, hard to say. But it's perfect tapered blending brush. So last but not least is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I have been loving this stuff. This is completely a dupe for Max Fix Plus. I think Kathleen Light said that, so you know it must be true. But anyways, <laughs> I love this stuff. I will pick up some shadow on my brush, spray this on there, and it completely intensifies any shadow. Um, I'll spray this all over my face and then add my highlight, and it makes any highlight extra blinding. And it's also a amazing makeup setting spray. And it's at the drugstore, and for me... Just convenience-wise, I live in a really small town, so I don't have an Ulta or a drug or a, I don't have an Ulta or Sephora near me. Um, the closest one is 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes away, so I don't really have that option on a daily basis. So I love things that I can get at the drugstore and please me just as much as things that I get from Sephora. So the fact that this is awesome and works just as good as my Max Fix Plus, so. When I order, it's like I'm ordering one thing and paying shipping. You guys know the struggle. When you want one thing, but then, like, you pay shipping, and the shipping is, like, almost as much as that thing that you want. <sighs> First world problems. My dad just got back from overseas, and me and my mom were talking today about how we didn't have enough storage on our phones for all of our pictures and stuff. And my dad's just sitting there shaking his head, and he's like, First world problems, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I hope that April is a wonderful month for you. I have a lot of exciting things coming.